If you're looking to buy a house in Arizona, specifically the Phoenix area, then this video is for you and you might want to pay attention. And if you have a home to sell here, you may find some useful information here as well. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rich Brathen, real estate agent with Real Broker. So a lot is going on with the market. I think we all are aware of that no matter where you live. But what we're seeing right now in Phoenix Metro has a lot of people frozen. A lot of my buyer clients who reach out most from this channel, reach out, you know, we're going to wait. Should we wait? What should we do? And I get it within good reason. You know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of questions in there. What do you do? Uh, home prices have been inflated, like many parts across the country. Phoenix Metro was actually leading the nation for you know, two years in uh, price increases. Then we fell, we had a bunch of inventory, and then <laughs> it came back. So now we have less inventory, but we're starting to see a trend upward. And a few things that I'm noticing on the resale end and on new construction, I think you might find useful. Now, last few weeks, rates have gone up and they've been above seven for a little while now. They've actually fallen today and now they're not in the seven and a half or higher. They're closer to that 7% mark, which feels weird even saying that's a good thing considering where rates were, but we can't worry about the past. And honestly, I don't know if we'll ever see, maybe not in my lifetime, um, sub 3% 30-year fixed mortgages anymore, but who knows? I mean, I, I can't predict future what's going to go on here and, you know, Take caution with that. When you hear someone with a strong prediction, oh, the market is going to do this, especially with rates or predicting a crash based on just pure speculation, um, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, crashes do happen. And people have been saying for the last 10 years, oh, it's going to crash, it's going to crash. Well, eventually you say that you're going to get right eventually. But right now we don't have a, any indication it's going to be the traditional crash. And I'll tell you why. And a lot of that is lack of inventory. No, buyer demand is down. And I'm going to put some charts up here and graphs and go over some things. This first one is from the Cromford Report, and I use it quite a bit. I like to, it gives a good overview of what we're seeing in Phoenix Metro, but our inventory is still down. Now, in the last week or so, I've seen 500 new homes come on the market, but we're still well below where we need to be. So if you're a buyer, that might not be a good thing. If you're a seller, that is good. If we had the amount of inventory we should, sellers would be, uh, I almost said something I shouldn't, but they'd be freaking out. Um, so sellers should be thankful. However, sellers, that doesn't mean you can just price your house forever because when you do that, now you're just sitting on the market collecting dust and that listing success rate has dropped and has you know continued to slowly trickle down, still around 78%, which is above the normal of 65%. But also we're seeing you know, listings under contract, pending listings, those are down. And I think next month, when we look at the sales per month, that number will be down being it's a laggy indicator and these high rates there we've had will be affecting that number. Now, when we look at the average monthly sales price, it is around $553,000 and that has fallen from last month and last quarter, but it is still quite high from two years ago. And even you know longer, and it is still expensive to own a home, especially when you put in today's rate. So when you look at what the average home costs and with the rates and what the average person has to make, it prices a lot of people out of the market, depending on where they're coming from and how much money they have. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? Should you wait? Now that's going to be up to every individual and depending on your situation. But let's just say you do wait and you want to, to see what the market does. Well, let's say rates do drop and inventory is already low. What do you think that is going to do to the market, to all the buyers who are waiting and people are still coming into the Phoenix area? We're gonna go back to having a buyer frenzy and people freaking out and then they feel like they have to get a home because rates have fallen. So you have that end. But then if you buy now and you're paying, you know, rate, homes are still expensive, you're waiting for the prices to fall, how much further will they actually fall before you feel like you're getting a deal? Because I would bet money they're not going to fall to the level they were two years ago or three years ago. It's just, I just don't see that happening unless we see a huge amount of inventory hit the market, which we're not quite seeing. So what do you do? Well, if I'm a buyer, I'm going to look for a house that one I can afford. I'm not going to try and live beyond my means. And I'm going to try and find the best deal possible. So where are those deals? Well, that depends. And it depends on what type of home you want in one neighborhood. But just as I set up the camera to shoot this video, I had two emails from 
uh, builders, one offering 4.99% and another one talking about the reductions on their quick moving homes. The quick moving homes is what I would absolutely look for if I was looking for a new home. Um, those are the ones that had builders tell me to my face that they will move on that price. But in that email, one of the new moving homes was $150,000 less. So they're marking these homes down. They want to get it off of their books. So if you're in the market for a new home, you're moving no matter what, you're moving for a job or whatever reason, you know, you know you're going to buy something. You don't want to pay rent, pay someone else's mortgage. I would look at new construction and look at getting a lower rate. Obviously, I would like to compare the loan estimate with my own lender, but also look at the quick move-ins. Those are the ones you're going to get a better deal on. And now if you want the list of quick move-ins and you know some of the incentives out there, just send me an email. I'll send that over to you. But that's just what we're seeing. Now for the sellers, again, you have to price your home where it needs to be. It has to be priced according to the market and get buyers through the door. Otherwise, if you're just hoping and wishing, it's just going to sit and sit and days on market for a seller is not a good thing. So let me know what do you think? What do you think you see in the market? If you're obviously, if you're looking to make the move here and you have questions, reach out. All my contact info is below. The cell phone goes to me. I answer. I answer the questions. I help you make that move, get everything in place. But that's just what we're seeing right now. It's uh, definitely weird times that I don't predict myself. I don't see the crash that so many people are calling for and have been for the last year and a half. It's simply the numbers aren't there yet. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but right now I don't see any evidence of that occurring. And we may see a dip, but a crash, I'm not, I'm not betting on it. Let me know what you have. See ya.